Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin and Gray, where we embrace autumn all year long. All right, so I'm popping in here quickly. Today is a hunting for Halloween video. Um, so I'm not gonna ramble too much. I am going to insert the footage. I'm thinking I'm gonna voice over most of this. You're about to find out what decision I made on that. Um, I'm sure there'll be some music and things like that as well. I did record a full haul of what I bought from these places. so. I don't know which one's gonna be going up first, but I'll link whatever one, I'll link both of these up in the description boxes. Um, I am going to be hitting Big Lots and At Home tomorrow. So many more to come. So please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. I will also leave all of my social media handles down in the description box. I have been really pushing out content over on TikTok and loving it. Um, it's doing really well and I'm having fun over there. So if you do have one, I'd love for you to follow me there. And yeah, let's jump into this footage. I hope you guys are doing good. I am sending you love and spooky well wishes and I will see you very soon in my next one. All right, first we are heading to Target and I was so excited to see any signs of Halloween here. So I first went to the dollar spot as one does and we had a few cute little things here, some Halloween cotton candy, these really cute little bats and cauldron chalkboards. I loved these. And then next to them were these little DIY spooky houses. So the dollar spot at this one was just starting to put things out. But again, I was just happy to see anything. We had these really cute paper cats, little decals that you put on windows. And then these are the glass bottles that I'm seeing a lot of people DIY. They're taking the labels off and creating their own really cute labels. We also had a ton of Halloween things that were rainbow colored, like these amazing skeleton dogs. There were banners that were rainbow colored and then a bunch of different sets of pumpkins as well. So if you are into a colorful Halloween, definitely check out the Target dollar spot. Next up are some fun things like these little build it yourself skeletons. There were also some monster fingers and mummy fingers that I thought were adorable. Tons of really cute stuff for little ones. They also had these little like vials that were Halloween puzzles. And then on this end cap, we had some kitchen towels and my first sightings of Halloween pillows at Target. And then this, I almost had this cauldron. I had it in my cart and I put it back, but I do love it. And I also loved those jack-o'-lanterns over there. And then I've been seeing these online a lot as well. So cute. We are getting there, slowly getting there at the Target dollar spot. All right, we are on our way to another section to find more Halloween. And while we were on the way, I found these really cute DIY projects. I love all of the creatures. We've got jack-o'-lanterns, bats, skeletons, Frankenstein, and the witch. So cute. I really loved this plate. It was adorable. And now we are back in like the food section in the back of Target. I am obsessed with these cookies. If you watched my haul, you saw them. We have the ghost, the mummy, and the jack-o'-lantern. They are adorable, and they were $1.99 a piece. I snagged several of each, and we also have some really fun bakeware here. And there was no shortage of candy at Target. They are putting more and more out every time I go. So if you are in need of candy for your own reasons or for the trick-or-treaters, now is the time to go. We also saw a few of the mini waffle makers, which I am obsessed with. I had the skeleton one. Uh, I should have grabbed the web. I'm going to go back and get that web. It is so cute. I love them, they work so well. We also have a ton of pumpkin spice, cookie mix, cupcake mix, things like that. And then I'm showing you a little bit more here of the bakeware options, cookie cutters, treat bags, the spatulas. I always love this section and I really wanted to get the skull pan. I didn't, but that may end up being mine. And showing you a little closer look here of the brain one as well. They're so fun, I love them. This section is always one of my favorites every single Halloween season. I just cannot get enough of the bakeware. I don't cook a lot, but I really like to bake during the holidays. So having the fun things here, like the sprinkle mixes, and I love the funfetti mixes. I always just love how festive everything is during Halloween and Christmas. So there's no shortage right now. If you are a baker or you like to bake with your little ones, it's a great time to go to Target, grab some of these themed sprinkles, Here's the Funfetti mix. I have since been back to Target and they also have a Monster Funfetti mix now, which is really fun and green with eyeballs. So I love it. I want to snag these Reese's ones as well. And then at the bottom, the Hide and Eek line had some really cool little items here. We have the Frankenstein Rice Krispie Treats, 
as well as the monster cookies. These all looked so cute. And then my Wyatt was really into this little science kit. And then next up on the other side, we had all the themed snacks, which I really stocked up on for lunches. You will see Rice Krispie Treats. They partnered with the Addams Family. The new movie is coming out soon. No shortage of the Addams Family around, which I love. And I'm just kind of panning over some different options here. Basically, all of the brands have turned spooky. Welch's, all of them. Uh, it's, oh, it's just the best time of the year. I love to see it. Aisles and aisles of Halloween themed food and snacks. I also snagged those veggie chips. Those are the little bats and ghosts, so cute. Now we're flipping back over to that Hide and Eek brand. I love everything by them, but I found the Twisted Tavern, which is the gingerbread house turned Halloween. I love them. They also have the cute cookies and the cat. So adorable. And then down below, we have a few different graveyard situations here. Spooky Graveyard and the Ghost Hollow. So many cute options. And they also had these really cute like movie night themed items at the bottom. Even Ring Pop got in on the fun and fun dip. So you're seeing all the different candy brands really taking it to the next level. Again, my Wyatt wanted all of these things. They absolutely love those Kinder Eggs. So many goodies. Now's the time to stock up because some things were already running low. I know they'll get more in, but it's wild how fast it goes. And then down here, we had warheads let me know in the comments if you ever had warheads <laughs> and i love the peeps we've got the little ghost peeps and we even have halloween themed gummy bears and i am more of a chocolate girl but i love gummy bears and then on this end cap we had all of your ziploc needs paper plates napkins things like that all of your party wear is slowly starting to make its way out they had some really cute options here all right, moving away from the food, we have an end cap here full of Halloween blankets from Hide and Eek and also this Eek pillow at the top with the little spider hanging that I loved. And then on our way out, I noticed that there is no shortage of Halloween cards at Target right now. If you're someone who likes to send spooky cards like I do, go snag some. And they also had the cutest stickers, which I have got to get for my Salem girl because she is so into them. And we're gonna wrap up Target here with the little dog section because they have the cutest costumes and dog toys right now. Okay, moving on to Dollar Tree. I was beyond ecstatic to see that my Dollar Tree was putting out just aisles and aisles of Halloween. This first section is tons of little treat bags, stickers, and those little kind of like knick-knack goodies, but I always stock up on them for like my boys' school classes, random prizes for the kids. And then down that aisle, we found a little bit more party wear, things of that nature. You'll see some pencils. I loved these little jack-o'-lanterns. They came in four different colors, and the Dollar Tree even has the cookie cutters. So here's a closer look at a few of those. We had some really cute towels here. I love this little skeleton one, and even some oven mitts. As you can tell, they're still putting things out, at least at my Dollar Tree, but love the party wear. Now these cups, I am obsessed with. I get them for my kids every single year. They're a dollar. They're perfect for Halloween movie nights with your little kids. I love them. And they even had these cute little wine glasses and this really cute bowl. Two different wine glasses, two different styles. Of course, they're plastic. It's the Dollar Tree, but they were still super adorable. Loved them. And now moving on, there were no shortage of these little books. We have activity books, coloring books. I stocked up on these for the kids. They had really good themes. I mean, we're looking at Ninja Turtles, SpongeBob, Mickey Mouse. I loved it. And also those activity books there that are full of stickers where they design the monsters. And then above those were actual books. Um, I don't need any more Halloween books. That is a fact of life. But if you are in need, they had some really cute ones there. Next up, we had a lot of creepy cloths, which if you watched my haul, you saw that I did snag them. I'm going to go back and get more. They're just great to have all over the place. So we're moving into a bunch of the decor. They had a lot of scary things this year, which I was excited for, a lot of bloody, gory things. These eyeballs are really cool. I thought they would look awesome in like a big bush with a bunch of eyeballs. I don't know, something like that. But cute decals for the windows, of course. They also had a ton of these really kind of like old school looking pieces that I loved. We've got the ghost, the witch, the pumpkin. They always have these spider webs. They had those exact ones last year and possibly the year before. But I loved these big spiders at the bottom here. Again, the eyeballs, as you can see, that's like a theme that's happening at Dollar Tree this year, but tons of really cute pieces. And then next up, 
are pieces for outside that I love. So we've got Frankenstein, the cat, jack-o'-lantern, skeletons, all of the ones that hang. They tend to be my favorite if I'm going to get decor from the Dollar Tree. Pieces like this are the ones that I love to get because again, these look so cool hanging from a tree or a bush. They're only a dollar. So if you grab a bunch of them, you can really make a pretty big statement in the front of your house. They're very neat. Here's some different garlands that they had. Lots of different themed garlands this year. And then they also have these really cool skull fences. Again, for a buck, you could grab a ton and really outline a walkway. And then they have this whole wall full of signs. I was really impressed. That one there with the skeleton, jack-o'-lantern, and cat, definitely my favorite. It just screams vintage classic Halloween, which is always my thing. But I was pretty impressed by these signs. Now, here are the skulls. If you've seen them on Instagram, let me know down below. Everybody is snagging them for DIY purposes. I got three of them. I cannot wait to paint them. They're running out, though. If you're interested, go to your Dollar Tree and grab them. They also had the skeletons that hang. And then the ones for the garland, which I love. Again, perfect, perfect options for DIY or just leave them if that's your style. They're pretty cool. And they even had these little mermaid ones hanging here on the end. So I thought these were neat on this other little end cap you're about to see. They had what they're calling carvable pumpkins. So that's pretty cool. They were like a foam material, would be fun for little kids. And then right above it, all of the little kits to decorate your pumpkins. And then by the front door, they had all of these little like wands that light up. Again, perfect for little ones. And here I'm just sharing a little bit more of the candy because if you didn't get enough candy at Target, oh my God, Dollar Tree had tons of candy. There was no shortage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next one.